all, my name is Christine and I run a vintage shop on Etsy. Today I thought I'd try something a little different and I brought a collection of lamps to put up on the table to show you guys some ways that you can use to identify an older or vintage lamp. Um, there's not a lot of good information out there on the internet about this so I've kind of had to do a lot of research and digging on my own to come up with some tricks. So I wanted to go ahead and share those with you guys. So if you're looking for an older lamp and you want to be sure that it's not a reproduction, a modern reproduction, these are some things that you can check. So the first thing that I want to show is this lamp right here. It's a modern lamp and you can see right there it has a foil sticker. I don't know if the light is catching it, but there's little holograms on the sticker. This is something that the government mandated in the mid to late 90s they basically put out a law regulation something like that that said you had to have this foil sticker on your lamp in order for it to be legal to sell in the u.s so if you see that kind of sticker on your lamp you have a modern lamp no matter what it looks like it's modern um the next thing that you can check for is the plugs I have a few different samples here, but I want to show this one specifically. This is an example of a modern plug. You can see right there that one end is fatter than the other end. This is another thing that they changed via regulations around the mid-1970s, maybe late 1970s. I was seeing a variety of dates. And there's obviously a transitional period of a few years where people are cleaning out their inventory and so maybe they're still selling lamps with the older plug and before they implement the new plugs. So this is a newer plug that you would probably be seeing on lamps that are from the late 1970s and newer. So if you see a plug like this on your lamp, you know that it probably isn't any older than the late 70s. Also on this lamp I wanted to show, since we were talking about the stickers, any lamp that has a sticker that looks like that you can see, oop, it's upside down, let me rotate it a little bit. That sticker right there is an older sticker that would have been used prior to the foil stickers. So if you see a paper sticker, this one's blue, but I've seen several other colors, yellow, green. They don't have to be blue, but they're gonna have the UL uh, logo on it and then a bunch of codes. Um, that will tell you that your lamp was made prior to the late 90s when the foil stickers went into effect. So this lamp we know is from the 80s because it has the newer plug and it has the older sticker. This lamp is definitely older and I want to show the plug specifically because you can see that both prongs are pretty much the same size. This is the type of plug you would have found on a lamp prior to the 70s when they mandated the updated plug. So hopefully you can see that these two prongs on that lamp are essentially the same size. So that lamp is likely at least no newer than the 1970s. Now my last lamp over here I brought to show because it has several things. This one I think is pretty old, potentially antique. And I want to show first of all, it has a pretty unusual type of cord on it. It doesn't look like a normal cord you would see on anything. It has kind of a funny shape, funny styling. So there was a period prior to World War II where it was kind of the wild west of electrical wiring. And so every company was coming up with their own proprietary types of plugs and cords and sockets. And so you'd see weird stuff like this that just sticks out as unusual. The other thing I wanted to show about this particular lamp is the cord itself has a cloth covering. And that is typical of older antique age lamps. I don't know why they would put the cloth cover on it, but they did. So if you see something with a cloth cover, you know you're dealing with a lamp that's pretty darn old. Um, so anyway, those are some tricks that you can try to figure out the age of a lamp you may be looking at or you may already have. Perhaps you've inherited and you want to know a little more about it. These uh, few tricks should help you come up with a general idea of the age of the lamp you're talking about. 
Anyway, give that a try and good luck.